I love engineering. I've been building things since I was, like, born. I'm studying for engineering in college. I also love tech, which means I absolutely adore virtual reality. If you haven't seen my last video when I first got my Oculus Quest, check it out, link in the description. And originally this video was gonna be kind of a part two of that, but I found this game that I just had to show you guys first. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Davis here, aka your boy Fluffball, and you've stumbled upon the channel of Fluffball the Wizard. Today we're going to be doing a let's play on the Oculus Quest, and I am particularly excited about this one. I actually saw this go by in my recommended for you notifications, which normally I just ignore. So I saw the thing in my phone and I was like, oh, recommended for you, Gadgeteer, ah, uh, whatever, wait a minute. I love engineering. I also love tech. I'm interested. So I've downloaded that via my phone. So we're gonna install that and give it a try because it looks amazing. It is literally everything I love. You, you, you're just screwing around with a physics engine, making Rube Goldberg machines to solve puzzles. I see this as an absolute win. So without further ado, let's start this. Let's sync this up and let's get this going. Okay, there we go. Let's open this up for the first time. Ooh. Oh, ah. All right, this is a fun little space. That's an interesting way of locomotion. You, like, drag the room around you. That's kind of cool, I kind of like that. Anyway, uh, let's get going with the tutorial. Ah, okay, okay. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. Oh nice! It supports ambidexterity. That's... yay. Whoa, okay. That does something else now. Oh, so I can like... okay. Interesting. That's so cool. Ooh, that's interesting. That's actually a really interesting mechanic. Interesting. Wait, don't I actually want to delete that bucket though? This would work as is. You just and then the marble, and that would work. Why do I need to delete the bucket? Oh, I see, I see, okay. Got you. Clever, clever, clever. Okay. Showing me the nifty undo feature. Okay. So, will this, like, stick? What's freeze mode? Not entirely sure how to use that, but apparently it's a thing. Oh, is that it? Okay. Ooh, you hold both to rotate. That's wild. I also did read that they have profiles. That's very nice. All right, let's try a puzzle. Ooh, I'm in a space with things and stuff. All right. So you do that. See if this works. Hey! Oh, I see. Okay, cool. Oh, so like all the levels are in this same room. Got it. Okay. This is fun. So we gotta get there. Okay, so my tool is transparent, but the objects are not. See, that's the thing about true physics engine games. You can do whatever the flip you want. Let's see, actually, that way we can do something like that. Let's 
seems like it should work. Let's give it a shot. Oh. There we go. So we have to get all the way up there. Let's see. I want this here and this here, right? That'll work, right? Yeah. Oh, come on. Alright, so we need to end here. Let me just test this. Okay, so that lands right there. Let's see if that works. Alright, next puzzle. So these are frozen, okay. So what happens if I just hit it? Alright, so I guess that's pretty straightforward. Seems legit. Alright, so that gives me an idea of puzzle mode. Let's try sandbox. <clears throat> Alright, so now that we've experimented with a few puzzles, let's try sandbox mode. Disclaimer before we get started here, I still haven't realized that I should probably turn off game music. Up until this point, I've just been editing around it, so I mute the clip and then unmute for whatever sections need sound effects, which is super painstaking, and I don't want to do that anymore. So I'm just gonna mute most of the game audio for this. We'll hear more of the sound effects later when I come back to it and remember to turn off the game music. All right, so this is a nice looking place we've got here. Lots of potential surfaces to work with. That's wild, I can actually hear the refrigerator. Can I like go over the edge? No, okay. So it does keep me within the house, which is kind of unfortunate. Would have been nice to try some stuff on the street, but you know, whatever. Ooh, this is interesting. This definitely gives a lot of potential for some fun contraptions. You can even go into the bathroom here. That's pretty cool. So it's looking like we can't really interact with anything in the environment. It's all just there. So maybe sometime in the future, that would be a nice addition. This is cool. This could definitely be fun. I don't know how the heck I would get up there to place things, because that's really high up. Oh, wait. Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's just super trippy. Ah, and I'm in the floor. So I definitely did not know that you can move vertically. <laughs> I will say I'm definitely liking the kind of climb physics, I guess, of like dragging yourself along as opposed to using a joystick. It's much more comfortable and less motion sickness inducing. Big fan. Oh, that's interesting. So if you prefer, you can use the joystick to move around. Okay, okay, fair enough. Ooh, I can kind of throw myself, that's nice. All right, I think we've got a pretty good idea of what we have to work with here. So let's start getting creating here. I'm gonna start with these shelves here. Holy moly, that's a lot of things. Try something with the metal tracks there. So like if we get bucket here, let me try this on the table here. So why won't that freeze to it? Oh! Ah. Alright, so then if we put a ball here, oh my bad. Hey. Think that works? Ah. 
I get stuck. All right, well, what I can do is a little something like this. So the freeze mode just kind of defies all physics, which is kind of cool because you need that in a game for stuff like that to happen. So I definitely just realized I've been facing away from the camera this whole time. Great thing about VR, you have no idea where you are in the real world. But anyway, here's the thing I made. We grab ourselves a little marble, go like, shoop, and it does a thing, yay! I can definitely see a lot of potential with this. Maybe not with this in particular, in which case, shoop. But, um, right, what does this do? Is this like bouncy? No, it's not. What about this one? <gasps> that one's bouncy. It's a ping pong ball. <laughs> oh, it even has the little three star texture on it. That's fun. What does that text say? I can't read it. Well, maybe we'll be able to read it in the video. Anyway. What is this? How does this work? Now, let me go to the island over there. Okay, something at standing height. So if we grab this... Oh, what? <gasps> Ooh. So then, I guess you would put a ball in there. And then if something triggers it... Yeah! That was actually really cool. I like that, especially since that makes it so you can jump big gaps like this. Like, this is the perfect place to test that. So let me see if that will behave properly in freeze mode. So if we freeze that here... It does behave right. Okay, cool. Let's grab this. These things are awesome. So then, does this work? Yeah. Okay, so it lands right there. Let's try putting a bucket here. Hey, that's a satisfying noise. So now, if we instead put a funnel here. Ooh, okay. So we actually don't even need that. Does that work? Ooh, so close. All right, all right, let me change the method here. Let's try this thing instead. Ooh, wait, I have an idea. Okay, okay, hang on. Um, grab one of these, boom, and then that. But then, here's where things get interesting, and then maybe for good measure, even that. Aha, now there's a funnel. Okay, let's try this again. Aha, I think. I couldn't tell. Did it work? Um... Yeah! Okay. 20 minutes later. Okay. Alright, so I just saved this, which means hopefully we can come back to it later. If not, this won't be terribly difficult to reproduce. But yeah, so this is awesome! This is like literally my dream game. Just mess around with like physics and Rube Goldberg machines. This is so cool. Endless possibilities here. Like, you get bored of some games, this is the game you play when you're bored. <laughs> like, I cannot see ever getting tired of this. We are out of time for today, but I will definitely be revisiting this. Breaking news! Fluffball learns how to turn off in-game music to record videos. Alright guys, it has been a few days since I recorded the last clip. I've been playing this game a lot, and I absolutely love it. It's so good. So I'm just gonna do a little bit more in sandbox mode. So I don't actually have a lot saved, but I do have a couple of things. There's this place that I was starting with earlier. So the idea is you drop the ball in the funnel, it activates this thing, goes over there, and then the, the trips the dominoes, and then the, um, the thing and the stuff. I'm descriptive. Just, just watch. Shoot. Hey! And that's as far as I've gotten, and of course I can do a lot more with that. Also, um, let me load up this thing. So, they have the bucket 
that you can use. First of all, I also want to comment on the sound quality of this game, like, beautiful. Beautiful. I'm especially impressed that they did for the different metal parts. Like, listen closely. If I drop this on the table, but then if I drop this one with the two prongs there, you can hear the double sample in there. Like, they actually recorded the sample with two prongs. Maybe I'm tricking myself. I know they are at least different pitch for the different parts. Anyway, let me undo all of that. So let's talk physics. They're amazing. Like, you can see this tower of buckets here. I, I placed this myself. So like, all of these are actually obeying physics right now, as you can see. What I'm particularly impressed with that not a lot of games do is they have concave shapes. Most games only do convex shapes. So like, even though you can look into that and see like, oh, that's a bucket, I can put my controller in it, the physics would say it's like a trapezoidal conic section, that's the word I'm looking for, with a flat plane over the top of it. And so if you try to put anything on it, it would just stop right there. But with this, you can actually fill this up with stuff and have it behave right. Okay, I'll stop then. You get the point. But like then, I can pick up this bucket and all of the balls behave as they would normally. Like, I can toss this around. And like, look at those gorgeous physics. Oh my gosh. Okay, but seriously though. Oh my gosh, this is insane. And like, if I get another bucket, I can like pour them into it and everything behaves beautifully. Like, ah, look at that. Look at the gorgeous physics. Oh my word. All right, let me just uh, clean this up really quick. Ah, uh, no, I didn't think that through. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. There we go. So then what I was gonna say is due to the fact that we have concavity here, we can actually do stuff. I'm sure you've all seen the classic. I've done this once before. Going horribly. No. So we can do that with this. Check it out. Hold on. See that? Like, it's not perfect, but like, it freaking works. Okay, once more. Okay, the last one kind of has some trouble. And like, it falls off, but that's according to physics. Like, it would do that normally because I can't physically grip it with my hand. I have this thing that just is a constant, like, grabbing. But anyway, and of course these also behave like if I were to take this and just wreak havoc on this. Okay, we're seeing a bit of an FPS drop. Let's try again. Just take the top one. Boom! Yeah! That's so fun. Well, I think I've made enough of a mess here. So then of course you have the uh, professional ones that come with the game, like, I don't know, this is a fun one. I haven't really tried them all, but uh, this is one that I have tried. But they gave us a nice little arrow pointing to this thing that we're supposed to just kind of, and then you can see all of the, all of the things happening. Wee. But anyway, and of course this is not the only room that we have, like we have all of this space over here. Like I could see some potential for this being interesting. This is just asking for stuff to be done. Um, here. I'm floating! I'm flying! Oh. So yeah, this is really cool. Definitely. Highly recommend this game. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little Let's Play episode. I definitely plan on doing a lot more of these with other apps and games, and I'm hoping that my next video is gonna be kind of the second part of the first VR video that I did. So like a more in-depth look at the quest and what I think of it after having used it for a while. So don't worry, there will be lots more VR content on this channel. I've got a whole list of videos that I need to make. No guarantee on when they'll be out, but keep an eye out because I definitely plan on continuing. Because, uh, newsflash, virtual reality is freaking awesome. 
If you found this video enjoyable, feel free to use the like button. If you like the majority of the stuff here, then please help me out by subscribing to Flip Ball the Wizard. And until next time, make something, sing something, hug someone, and uh, catch you all later.